Blah 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 predictions. That's my clock in the background. We're gonna do a tour of my Luigi's Mansion replica in Minecraft. If you wanna watch, stay. If not, bag it off. But, but please don't. Please don't. Oh god damn it, Bob. You're jealous. Hello, I'm Bob. I'm the guy who built this place. I'm Burn, the guy that's filming. Alright, let's get going then. Sounds good. Oh yeah, bloody hell. Uh, first, yeah, before we go to the mansion, best do Egan's lab bit. Take your time. Yeah. Don't fall down. I'll try not to. Yeah, this is the menu room, pretty much. When you start the game, you just talk, you stand in the middle of the room and he guards chatting to you. And, well, all you can see of the room is one frame. So most of this I improvised. He guards been living here all his life, so I thought, yeah, give him, give him a nice room to stay in. There's a TV up here, some beds. Uh, and other than that, I just used some world edit randomization to get all the walls having different textures rather than just have it all dirt. And uh, I uh, as far as that's supposed to be some sort of machinery. And well, that's pretty much about it for this room. Then go to the training room. Which is where you train, if you couldn't tell by the name. Uh, interesting fact about this room, if you wait for three minutes, fifty seconds, odd, three and a half minutes, something like that, in the control select screen, the Taka song will play. If you know what that is, do you? Nope. Uh, it's just, uh, just like an easter egg in any games this guy called Tataka is in. Uh, he just puts a tune, which is quite a shit tune if I'm honest, but he puts it somewhere in the game and it's a challenge for people to find it. Like in Mario Paint I think, you have to click on it, press the A in one of the menus, and it's in Yoshi's Story for N64. Like if you wait on the challenge screen for a while, it's, a, it's one of those easter eggs that's in more than one game. But yeah, in this room you fight. Uh, this is where you train, obviously, and he, he guy just tells you the controls and all that, and you get ghosts. Uh, that's pretty much it, if I'm honest. That's good. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think so. Next, move on to the ghost portrifications room. This is where, well, the game of the game is to turn all the uh, ghosts all the main ghosts in the mansion back into portraits because King Boo, you know, decided to raid the Egan's lab and take all his go uh, take all his portraits and slam them through this. So you have to go hunt down all the ghosts uh, to film this room. I uh, basically got a YouTube video up and just watched it go along because you go to it at the end of every area and well, it only plays through once and you just have to do it from that. Oh, I can't remember what video I used to uh, film it with. It was like some guy playing through. I'm sure you'll find it if you t type in Ghost Portrificationizer in YouTube. But yeah, tried to use all the new blocks in 1.5 to update this room. Uh, like, well, not so much 1.5 blocks, just new blocks in general. Like all these um, item frames, canvases. Uh, made it a lot. Yeah, pretty much. Yet. <laughs> it's a bit laggy for me, it's not good. But yeah, this is the gallery. This is where all the portrait ghosts are put up when you get them. Uh, I tried to make all the pictures look what they do, what more than most resemble in the game. Obviously, there's not really much to go from off these pictures, but I tried. Uh, the angel statues, I'm pretty sure. Can you tell those are angels, Boon? Yeah, they look like angels. Much better than what you did before. Damn right. All those skeleton heads in there. I also, I also used the pillars beer, which is new in 1.5. And uh, you see this slightly different portrait on the side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is where, uh, once you finish the game through, it hangs a portrait of what grade mansion you had. So if you have a certain amount of gold, you get better mansions. And uh, in the version, I, I can't remember what version I played, it's like the European version. 
you can't get in here unless you do the hidden mansion, which is a bit, bit, uh, bit, bit, bit strange. Because uh, you need 150 million coins to get an E, but in in the uh, in the normal version, the most you can possibly get is 147 million. It's not good. What's this room though? Oh, this is a uh, where you hang the f uh, the portrait of King Boo when you defeat him. Apparently, like it, with some of these portraits, like the it depends on how well you catch him, and you get different versions. But I don't know how that works, it's just the first I've heard of it. So like, with Blue Losses, you can get like, the blue frame or a red frame, I'm not really sure. But, you know, I just wanted to mention it. Uh, this is one of the tallest rooms I've made as well. True story. Hmm. Tallest thing? Uh -huh. the tallest thing? Oh yeah. Tallest room, I think. I don't know actually, the foyer might be taller. But, you know, we'll I didn't really have any part. of yeah. We should move on. Probably should. I'll have to go to the actual mansion itself now. Awesome. Uh, soak in the view from the front. It's a bit plain, but you know, it's the best I had to work with. Because there's not really much out in front of the mansion in the actual game. But I still think it looks quite neat. Oh, we put some work into it already, so no wonder. <laughs> But it's not the outside that matters, you know. Go to the inside. And get your ass here. Can't really tell if you're in here or not, but you know. Uh, my lag's quite bad. Yeah, we can tell, don't worry. Yeah. We can tell. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the foyer. This is the first room you go into. It's... Well, this is the room I was on earlier, which is probably the biggest. You know, I'm sad to see that the uh, first room you go into is probably the best I've built, but <laughs> this, the rest is uh, still quite good. Uh, I put a lot of effort into this room. I, I might put a comparison pick here to show the difference, but yeah, I did things like even on the walls, you can show the cracks and things like that. But you know, that's enough of this room, I think. On the parlor now. Getting to the second floor, yes. Yeah. Oh, yep. Uh, yeah, this is well, the parlor. This is the first room you complete. You have to hoover up some candles and then the painting starts speaking and it's all, all happening. Uh, and then you just get stuck in some of the orange ghosts, which is the ba most basic ghosts. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. It looks a bit crowded, but. I'd rather have it so all the stuff's shown and it's slightly bigger than it should be than just have it less detail and more fit in. So, with things like the tables, I can use the carpets which will be out in 1.6, uh, which should be make it think quite a few things a lot better looking. It looks a lot better than what you did before on the older version. Yeah, so that's, that, that's what the detail. idea is. Yeah, that those two extra blocks on the each room made a lot of difference, as I'm sure you'll see. Uh, I'm, I'll link the old mansion videos here somewhere at one point. So if you want to have a look, go ahead. But you know, that's not that's not what we're here to do about. That's not what we're here to talk about. This is the one we wanted to see. Well, as long as it isn't that bloody flask of tea of yours. Oh, that's that's for later. That is, that's for the next teleport we do. It's, it's wow. waiting on the side. <laughs> anyway, moving on to this room. Yeah, this is the ante room. Not a damn clue what it is in real life, but those things on the side look kind of cool. Uh, there used to be ladders in the old version, but I thought, screw that, do some more detail and take it out a bit more. Oh yeah, I remember. This is a lot more detailed than what it used to yeah. Stop walking into my camera, damn you. I'll, I'll do what I like. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, <laughs> the ceiling's a lot more detailed as well. See that extra watermelon detailing? Oh yeah. Watermelons are I know. Watermelons are a very nice looking block, I think. Indeed. Yeah. Come on. Uh, if I say come on an awful lot, it's probably because on my camera I can't see if you're in the room. But you know, I live in Wales, my internet's shite. Don't worry, I'm following. Just talk about the, the next the next room then. Yeah, this is the wardrobe room. This you clear this room twice, 
first time is when you just go into area one and just defeat some of these green ghosts which throw bananas at you. Then the second time, there's a blackout later on in the game and you have to come into this room to defeat a guy called Uncle Grimly who gives you the key to the breaker room which lets you turn the lights back on. More of that later, as soon as you get to it. Uh, yeah, this bit by here, uh, this is the balcony. Uh, you can soak up the view around here, you can see the graveyard, you can see the master bedroom a bit, you can see the boneyard. It looks very nice, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is uh, one of the toads are here, and toads you can see, they're basically a save point. Uh, uh, other than that, you can water the plants if you want, they give you gems and all that. Nothing else here really though. Off you go to the rest of Area 1 now. Oh. Uh, we're moving on to the rest. Get watching part 2 then. And yep. Come on. You know. I pasted this link here. Just so you could use. And you're just here watching me talk. How dare you. Well obviously if you want to rate, comment, subscribe, carry on. You know, just do that on the bottom. Take it off full, full screen. Just slam me a like. Please. Ha <laughs>